Starting my day with a cup of water because it helps me to go to the toilet and empty my stomach. <laughs> well, jokes aside, water is just good for you, you know. Yeah. It can be pretty boring doing the same thing every day, like folding your blanket. So today I oil my hair in the morning so that I wash it after a few hours before going to class. I'm using this onion hair oil which I heard was good for hair fall. Also oiling and massaging is said to increase the blood flow to your scalp so that might help with your hair fall. Just recently I wrote myself this time capsule which I will open next year if I remember about its existence. I don't usually see my laptop's face in the morning but I had to write this intro for my dissertation. And well, anyone who has ever written anything knows how it feels like to get stuck, right? Well, I'm in that phase currently. Still, I go on reading research papers and go on writing one line at a time, hoping I'm able to write at least two pages, but end up with only one page intro. Wishing that this was some interesting book, but nah, I just read pH 5.5, wow, acha. Dissolves oxygen, wow. I've been trying to opt for healthier eating habits because lately, you know, I've been eating junk food. Too often, a lot of them. Yeah, you can see for yourself. Even while in the room, I cooked myself instant noodles again and again. And I figured out stopping myself from eating was not working at all. So instead, I started buying fruits because I love them and they are sweet and they fill my craving for eating something from time to time. And also, they're much healthier. So it's sort of like a win-win situation. Also, just look at them. They look delicious, right? They give me company while I'm trying to read again about something like pH and dissolved oxygen. You know, those can be pretty boring sometimes, yeah. Still, there is always something that you cannot avoid, like going to class. So find something that adds joy to the task, like being around friends. Now it adds two benefits to going to class, knowledge plus friends. Now, I know I'm not going to be here in this place forever. I will leave in few months, so now I think I should capture all these scenes I see daily into my heart. Because one day, I think I will miss all of this. Spring or fall, I always find myself waiting for the next stage in life, forgetting to enjoy the present one, which is not a very good thing to do, I guess. So, if spring is here, let's enjoy spring. I'm trying to enjoy the small things I have in the present moment because they won't be there forever. Like look at these puppies. They could barely walk a few days ago. Why so angry? Why so angry? Bro. Bro. Tata. Bye bye. Bye bye. They love you. Bye bye. And yes, sometimes cute things also try to hurt you, don't they? Like this, puppies biting my favorite sandal. There's something I don't talk about here, is that my mom has been sick for a long time now. And I'm just happy to still have her with us, to be able to video call her like this. She's really strong. This is called passion fruit and my friend made me juice out of this. This was really tasty and I'm so thankful for this.
Lately, it's been difficult to keep making videos. I often feel like who will watch my videos anyway? What values do my videos bring to people's life? I started this channel wanting to make people smile and inspire people while also recording memories of my life. And somewhere in these two years, I started forgetting the purpose of me making videos, getting busy with academic schedule and struggling with personal problems made me ask if I should continue here or not. While the question still remains valid, I came to the conclusion that I will do just as my heart says. Anyways, so thank you so much for watching. I don't know how many of you are new here and how many have been here for a while. I just hope that this video was able to make you feel happy in some way. And I appreciate your time and love. Don't forget to enjoy every season in your life while it's here. I know some parts are difficult and we have to struggle but it's life. If it's painful today, we still have to believe that we will find joy tomorrow. Life goes on after all, right? So take care. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.